time. So we we look at this amazing lineup that we have here because when I ran for office, I stated that you will see yourselves in our administration. You will see yourselves in our administration. And the everyday workings of government is not only the commissioners, the deputy commissioners, the assistant commissioners, but then the everyday people who receive individuals who are in need of service. We have over 12,000 jobs that we need to fill of the people who provide service to New York. We want you to reach into your communities and talk about hiring to be a police officer, a nurse, an ACS employee, a Department of Education employee. We want government to look like you and to look like the people of the city. And we need your help to do that. This community, the AAPI community, has a long and rich tradition in this country. The de first delegation over 160 years ago when the first Japanese delegation came into our shores and when Chinatown was founded in the 19th century, your contributions to this city is amazing. And I saw that every day when I went out and campaigned and stood with this community in some of the most difficult times. I'll never get a young man coming to me when his nephew was home as a fast food delivery person and we stood up with the family back when I was a lieutenant in the police department. And he always remembered that and he told me coming in today under this big tent is telling us that our city is a big tent. We all must stand together during some of the most difficult times. If we are united, if we stand together, our resiliency is amazing. We've seen it over and over again on how we've overcome some difficult times. We've always made it through because we stand with each other. And we there again. Many of our new arrivals who are coming to our country to pursue the same thing many of us all have pursued, and that's the American dream. We must be there for them. It doesn't matter if they're coming from the continent of Africa, from South America, Central America, or from any of our Asian Pacific Islanders. We have to make sure they have the opportunities that we all wanted to have when we came to this great country, a country that is alone in its title of having dream attached to its name. The American dream is real, the American dream is alive, and the city that represents that American dream is a place that we all know, and that is New York City. Thank you for coming out tonight. We want to really thank all of you for being here tonight. And my team told me I'm joined by a two of my a, a good commissioner, also a red whisper. He makes sure your water is clear. Down at DDB. And, and I think that one of the greatest stories of the American experience is what I see in Commissioner Castro. Commissioner Castro came to America as a dreamer with his mother, with a five-year-old child. He came here, worked hard, and now he's in charge of making sure every immigrant group has the right to participate in the dream. He's now the Commissioner of Immigrant Affairs. We are so so happy for that. Another two other great members of the team, uh, uh, Eva Wong and, and Mayor, Mayor Bashar. Mayor is in charge of one of the most important senior positions for the Bangladesh community. We have continued to grow, we have continued to expand. This is who we are as New York City. So I need you to be prepared to honor some of the people who are worthy of being honored because of the work they are doing. And so, give us your patience as we bring them on to give these.
expectations to these great New Yorkers. Okay, Steve?